greetings from the Hudson Valley of ever beautiful I love New York and here is the beautiful city of Beacon known for its art and here we have some wooden wildlife at Hudson Beach Glass everybody it's Ryan and here is a walk through Beacon during autumn season with the jack-o-lanterns out I've already made my way into the original construction site of the Lewis Tompkins Hose Company of 1890, which is now Hudson Glass, and they are blowing glass right now, and you can pick your own pumpkins. I love autumn in the Hudson Valley, and pumpkin picking in a glass shop. You know why? Pumpkin picking in a glass shop, they will last you well past autumn. Now here we are on Main Street. This is the sixth week of autumn foliage in I Love New York. The I Love New York tracker tracks the entire state of New York. So it's not the sixth week for this area. It is the sixth week for- Your destination is on the right. And here we are at Notions and potions. See some amethyst in the window. Nothing like visiting a great witch shop to let you know that autumn is in the air. But the great thing about notions and potions established in 2007 is that it's not a Halloween shop. They are here all year. And that is one of the great things about visiting a city like Beacon, New York, is that you will see independent businesses in plenty. I'm not seeing the big chain stores as I'm walking down Main Street, Myers Old Dutch, and that makes sense. Um, as prior to New York, this area was known as New Amsterdam. Major Dutch, ah, there is the city of Beacon. Is established May 15th, 1913. Um, back to Dutch heritage. Dutch heritage very much celebrated in New York in the city of, capital city of Albany, where they do the uh, Albany Tulip Festival with the Dutch scrubbing of the streets. Beacon Bread Company. Now there's a lot to do in Beacon, New York during other seasons. Kayaking is one of the big draws to come here. There are waterfalls. Yes, there are waterfalls in Beacon. And I know some people have come to photograph them at night. Uh, you can also get picked up here by a uh, shuttle to go to a campsite. And one of the great things about that is they have set it up for people who do not have cars or do not even have tents. It's really set up for the urban dweller and it's very easy to get here if you are an urban dweller. $17.50 from Grand Central Station, 42nd Street, New York City, directly to Beacon, New York. No car needed, got here directly. And so that's why you would find Duchess County Seal. By the way, we are in, ah, there is the biggest uh, Duchess County sign I've seen. We are in Duchess County. And what awaits around this turn? Oh, Are you ready to go home? the Beacon Center. And there is the Sybil Fort, Dutchess County. And I gotta say, thank you. And hello to the folks from Visit Dutchess County. They are the reason why I am here today. They were distributing information at the New York Times Travel Show at the Jacob Javits Convention Center in New York City and they had a booth to visit Dutchess County. So I went over to Poughkeepsie to walk way over the Hudson and the representative said that this is uh, the Williamsburg of the Hudson Valley. That was how it was described to me. And I'm here checking that out for myself. And I gotta say, when I got off of the Metro North myself, the youngest kids on the trains were the ones who all got off uh, to visit Beacon or they live in Beacon beautiful place to call home. Now my visit today, I'm looking to find the waterfalls 
of Beacon. See the I Love New York sixth week autumn foliage colors. Find out a little bit more about this uh, kayaking that takes place here in Beacon. And as well, there is a cruise uh, that goes out on the water, which would be the Hudson River, which is where the name comes from, the Hudson Valley. Uh, that all takes place in Beacon. Great things for New Yorkers who don't have a car or don't want to be using cars. Uh, and so that's the exploration here today. Outdoor dining is very popular in New York. This is during the global pandemic of coronavirus, COVID-19, which is why you will see everyone wearing masks, or Halloween masks. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe they are Halloween masks, who knows? I have seen some jack-o'-lantern car faces, uh, so some of them are Halloween. And if you can have fun with it, uh, it makes respecting yourself and those around you a little bit easier. So if you could find a way to have fun uh, with masking, go for it. One of the great things about autumn in New York is you still see flowers. Some areas like Maine, a little further up north in the United States, they will have snow before Halloween. So autumn means very different things in the United States. Uh, it's almost election day. And at Main Street, there are a bunch of people with signs uh, advocating for their selective choice for president. So it's a very active city politically. I would say that drew about 100 to 150 people, all with signs. See some art, cafe, more cafes, wood fried pizza wood fried pizza okay that reminds me i am actually looking for something a little bit more specific and that is pumpkin ice cream maybe this is it no i thought that was ice cream uh there is a shop here on main street that is selling pumpkin ice cream and there's another shop uh that is doing donuts with what looks like ice cream toppings. So you can get uh, melted marshmallows poured on top of your donuts. Uh, you can get uh, chocolate syrup, salted caramel. They have really made it an experience to have a donut in Beacon, ice cream in Beacon, kayaking in Beacon, hiking in Beacon. Lots to do, lots to do. There it is. That's the place that does the donuts. The donuts you want to try. The donut experience. And they have, a, they have a line. That is the place where I will be headed without a doubt. So you get the idea. Lots to see. Um, very unique experiences. No chain stores. And then once you step off Main Street, um, you've got the beautiful nature of the Hudson Valley, which is one of the things I love. Oh, Hudson Valley, Hudson Valley. <laughs> one of the things I love. And that's a quick glimpse of walking an ever beautiful beacon. I love New York. Till next time.